Hello, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I apply groom hair to Alex, our Genesis 8 model for the day. First off, you want to browse to, and open your character's skeleton mesh. Next, select the skeleton tree and scroll down until you find the character's head bone. Right-click and choose Add Socket. You can double-click on the socket to rename it. Now open the character's blueprint and navigate to the viewport. Select the character mesh and then, click the Add button to add a new component. You want to add it to the mesh so it's a child of the character itself. Type in Groom, select, and rename it if you wish. With the new hair component selected, go to the Details tab, Sockets drop down, click on the magnifying glass thingy, and select the head hair socket that was created earlier. Now browse to wherever your groom hair products are located in the content drawer. Now, drag and drop desired hair asset into the groom asset thingy place in the details panel. Yeah, I don't know the name of stuff. It will be a reoccurring theme. Go back to the character's skeleton mesh and adjust the hair socket so that it aligns generally close. You can see how it moves accordingly in the blueprints viewport. In the Hair Components Details panel you can change the hair color by searching Materials in the Element 0 drop-down menu. Now, double-click on the Groom Asset to open it. Enable Simulation and watch the hair blow up. In case it matters, I have my Levels Mode thingy set to Simulate, it is not in Game Mode. Welp, I already created the video before saying this so well, shit, I can't show you what I mean. So, anyways. There is two main things I do to fix this. First, browse to your character's physics asset in the content drawer and open it. Check the size of the collision capsules around the character. These will interfere with the simulated hair, or anything really, I'm guessing, like clothes and whatnot. But who knows? Scale the capsule so, at the very least, it's not protruding out the top of the head. You can play with adjusting these, and it's easier to tell how they will collide if it's longer hair that drapes over the torso. Next, go back to the Hair Asset tab. Scroll down and find the collision radius setting. Change it to 0, 1, maybe 2, and check the blueprints viewport to see how the hair interacts. And that's it really.
can go into the main viewport thingy, simulate, move the character around and see how it reacts in real time. You can also play with more settings like the bend and stretch constraints to further affect how the hair drapes. There you have it. Hope it helps. Bye.